welcome to another episode of Garden Explore. So today I'm going to plant some of the, well move the seedlings in here out. So they're coming on well now because it's supposed to be nice weather this week. Glorious day today. Might benefit in the sun and hopefully it'll keep the slugs at bay if it's a bit too, if it's a bit more warmer. Oh, this moustache is going crazy today. And the beard needs to trim as well. Look at the vest. Unicorn. An unicorn mark. Not that I'm obsessed or anything. Right. Let's crack our back on. Oh, look at the tits. Alright. So this is the bed I got prepared today. Carrots gonna go there. Onions in here. Parsnips are there. Although I don't know if you there any still alive. Um beetroot, I think, here. And leeks there. I'll get this weeded and done today. That's those three prepared. Now, get ready to put these in. As you can see, no radishes because that's slugs. So, yes. I'll come back to this in a bit. Right. So that's these. So, got onions to go out. Uh, what's that? Beetroot. And leek. Get these little guys out. That's these guys done. So we've got beetroot here, leek there, onions there. So I've done half and half. So I'll give these guys um, are nice and protected. Hopefully these little jars will give them a bit of a boost. I've got mini greenhouses for them. And the left other half to see how they got on. So if the slugs eat them, I've still got these. And then also if they do go, I could then have got the second part of the plot to then put more in to gradually harvest them as they grow. Put onions there because they counteract the carrot pests that are pests that eat carrots and carrots counteract the pests that eat onions so onions between the parsnips and carrots that hopefully work. Again no radishes so I'll get some more on the go and plant these out. Damn slugs. So I'll change their little beer trap there is some in there. Yeah the beer trap I put down is like completely full so I'll show you that in a minute. There we go. Actual gardening today. Oh, there you go. Right, last thing to plant out is the kale. So, nice tub, got some nice drainage on the sides. These little bad boys in. Yeah, 
there you go. That's all the cowl in. Ready to start growing properly now. A bit separate them all right, give them a bit more space. There you go. Done. Alright, that's them done. Signage covered from cats. That's this job done for today. And the cow, you can see them in there. Leave them in there so they're a little bit more protected. Give them a bit of a good old water down in a minute. These I'm not going to water because the soil's still quite damp underneath, so I think they should be alright. And also, it's quite hot here right now, so don't want them to burn, but they should be alright. That soil is really damp. Next, ta next task is to get rid of this, change the slug trap. They were eating all the plants, as you can see. Um, so with this, straight back in the garden. We'll rock down, give them a nice fresh bevy. Some dark, mild champion. Mm, nice dark ale, I love that. Since I've done that, they, some of the plants are protected, but they just love everything. Bloody things. Anyway, the war against slugs. Pond's looking nice. There was a frog earlier. Don't know where he's gone. He was in the middle, so I don't know where Mr. Froggy's gone. No, the baby fish are coming up now. <sighs> Alright, next up. I'll tell you what, let's see if we can get some footage of the fish underneath. So, I'll try that in a minute, and then uh, I'll add it to the video. You can see some of the little... Them darting around. Mr. Snail, Mr. Snail, Mr. Snail. Remember in the last episode, I said I wasn't sure if these were runner or broad beans. They are broad beans. I found the seed packet, so I was right. Um, so, so it looks like a bite out of there. So yeah, these are doing all right. Um, peas, are, peas are doing lovely. Um, all the cheese seeds coming through the grass. Um, compost, but... This should be all right. I'm not, oh, I've got a shoot or something coming up. Right, chickens. So, oh, one other thing as well. Bunny, chicken. Oh. Sorry, birdies. And we have potatoes coming up. Excuse all the grass. <laughs> to try and pluck it out, as you can see, as it grows. Always having chicken compost seeds that they don't eat. So, put a little bit of weed in while I'm here. Um, so, yes, we got some coming up there, there, all these coming up. So, these are doing really well. That's a bit of compost in there, anyway. There we go. Updating all those. 
herb garden. Do you need to buy some herbs? And actually, I think I might gonna buy some. Um, and plant them. This is garlic. Garlic's doing alright. The mint. <laughs> it's trying. There's strawberry plants with what the rabbits didn't eat. Are surviving as well. An update in the garden. Let's go in the greenness. And I'll show you those. So last week I said I might do the sprites, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave them a couple more weeks, I think. Um, before I pop them all out. Lettuce are doing well. Broccoli can technically go out, but I'm going to leave them because there's a few more picking their heads up. I'll leave them, more lettuce. These are the old broccoli. There's a, there's a few sad ones. There's a few threes there. Second lot's definitely done better. Uh, mixed salad still coming up. I gave that a bit of a water earlier, so I need to water these as well. Um, these guys getting on since the now one. It's coming up as well. I keep on getting little bits of mould on these. I think it's where I accidentally ever water them. Um, same with the carrots. I'm going to try and sort that out today. They're still coming out. Emily and Crystal are doing nice. No red beans yet. Um, might bring the kale in here actually. Just a bit more protection. I need to sort this out as well. Might do that today. Might do that now actually. But we're doing it in a couple of minutes. <laughs> do it a bit. Give me a bit of a spray. Especially because it's warm today. I do really well with a bit of extra moisture. Sorry, we're really filming at them. These guys did a bit of a spray as well. I did have some extra compost yesterday to help dry it out a bit, which doesn't try it, but now I do dry. I'm being summoned by Boston. I'll we'll send it to Boston in a minute. I'll tell you what, we'll do end of end of video with Boston. It's all fluffy at the moment because We've had a um, got very muddy today on my walk, so nice shower. There you go. Move the curl to this shelf. Oh, that little spider down there. Give these a nice good water. And hopefully they should do some well. So once they get a bit taller, a bit bigger, I can add a bit more compost on top of them. So they've got a bit of root, a um, bit of depth. Be all day with this spray. Sorry, Mr. Spider. We do apologize. Little Spider. Alright. There you go. Again, that's recycled rainwater. So I think next week we'll plant out broccoli um, into a container. And then we'll do the seeds. Might do the sea, um, plant out seeds the following weekend. Um, I always try and do it at the end. I've been doing it at the end of the month, so we'll keep up the tradition and do it at the end of the month. Plant out seeds. Um, what else is going on? Oh, we'll quickly show you the rhubarb. Ooh. That grass, or lack of. I do apologize for that. The other half hates it. Um, but we are planning to gravel it soon, so a couple more weeks, he just has to deal with it. Um, and then we'll have a nice pretty garden. Rhubarb is doing really well. Um, just need to buy a bottle of gin, I'm going to make rhubarb gin I think. It's a gooseberry behind it. Red currant starting to grow back. Last year it was just covered in ants. Same with the black currant. Black currant's coming up nice. And that raspberry I cut back the other day. Oh, it's coming up lovely. There we go. A little update in the garden. The slug restaurant. Oh, we'll check on the seed in my plant as well last weekend. They're loving life at the moment. Okay, same with that one there. It's doing all right. Seems really good for the rockery. Don't spread it, cover everything. Still lots of little seedlings. I think some just belched. Nice. 10 out of 10 for that one. Yep. There is life. The iris is all regrowing. Life is coming back. 
Right, let's go sail to Boston. Boston! Right. So that's it for this episode. Pretty, um, a fair amount done today. I say a fair amount. Got all the um, scenery that I want to get out. Like I said, the garden's a bit more tidy. Might film that, I don't know. You have to see. Um, if I do, I'll add it to the end of this video. Might do that. Might do the rehash next week. Got a bit, got a bit too much to do today. Hope you enjoy. Um, like, comment, share, and all that jazz. Um, so yeah, let me know what you want to see next time. Uh, let me know if I've got anything wrong. I probably am. Um, what you want to know? What, what animals you want to know about? What you want to see next time? Yes. Um, until next time. Toodle pets.